It's the Crappie Masters Tournament Trail here at Lake Dardanelle. Last week on Crappie Time, Ronnie and Kelly Caps fishing Lake Dardanelle for the first time finished a disappointing 17th place. Now, midway through the tournament, it's time for adjustments and high hopes for a better finish. It's Crappie Time. Rarely does a fishing show have a cliffhanger and a thrilling conclusion. But this is not your ordinary fishing show. So with that in mind, how about some drama? Previously on Crappie Time. 4.15 a.m. We're on Lake Dardanelle. Day one was a day of decisions for Ronnie and Kelly Caps. We have a pattern as far as what the fish are really wanting to be in. Early in the morning, the duo searched for the right spot for their first tournament on Lake Dardanelle in Russellville, Arkansas. This is kind of why we come early. Before Ronnie left Tennessee for this tournament, he'd picked the spot which held the winning fish. Bing, bing, bing. But against his initial instinct, Ronnie chose a different area on day one. Quantity over quality. All day. Little. Mm. Golly. I got him. You showed Got out of preschool. You don't win seven world championships without knowing how to adjust and how to listen to your wife. No, you just can't lift pole. Get him. Good fish, too. Good fish. What that net? Late on day one, Ronnie went to the quality spot that Kelly had wanted to fish all along. The results? Promising. The day ended in 17th place and a vow for a better day two. Glad the day's over. We had a ball. Um, they better look out tomorrow. I'm already mad at them. Here's what the caps are up against. Three native Arkansas teams and nearly a four pound deficit. 12.81 leads the charge and the caps enter day two with just over eight and a half pounds. Leaders Jason and Jim Westerberg are on big fish, but day two is predicting less wind than day one. It could hurt their bite. In second place is Dennis Bayless and Don Blakely. We saw them land the big one, also in the windy day one conditions. Now that and I make the team. So now we bring you day two, the exciting conclusion. Beautiful morning here on the Arkansas River, Lake Dardanelle. Second day, man, have I learned a whole lot. Have we learned a lot they or what? Learned, I mean, yes, it's, been, um, it's been a heck of experience, but we're fishing some aggressive fish right here this morning instead of, uh, you know, going for the gold, uh, chasing females. We're gonna be fishing for male fish. They're aggressive, they're, go they're gonna bite. We're gonna have fun. I promise we're gonna load the boat with fish. Hopefully we'll get some good sized males. And you know, it didn't take much yesterday, uh, not as much as I thought. I mean, everybody had a hard time coming up with a female fish and it, they're, they're not predictable. These are the predictable fish I'd give anything if I had just went with what is happening, you know, the action and caught these male fish, I'd have been right up in the top. But you live and learn, I did that here for sure. And um, I bet you we turn out a whole, lot, a whole lot better than we did yesterday today for sure. Ready. You ready to fish? I'm ready. Let's go for time. I believe. Let's go for time. time. Area right here, I know. There he is right there. Gosh, already a good fish, Kate. Get, get the net, get the net, get the net, bro. Good fish, real good fish. Good fish, oh, good fish on. Good fish, oh, it's a big old black one. All right. That's a good How size. long did that take? Um, it's a whale. Had a little trouble it's a grabbing whale. it, but. It's a whale, it's a whale, it's a whale. It's a whale. Look wow. what a crappie. Look what a crappie. That is a gorgeous fish, I'm telling you. A Five minutes into this. That is a gorgeous fish. Kelly, why didn't we come over here yesterday? We knew about this. You know, place. we went out, we we fished here all day one day, and then we went over to the other place and we caught we caught some bigger ones, and we just got we got drawn into that and and just Gosh, went gorgeous. against what we really thought to do. Okay, you better watch us today. You hear me? You hear me, girl? I hear you, baby. What time is it? Crumpet time. Gosh. And then. You rock, baby. Oh my. What oh did you catch? My. What oh did you catch? My. Oh my. What have you caught? Oh my. That's what we are looking for. Oh my God, girl. Mm. Mm. Ten, that's 15 that's been minutes like... into this deal, we haven't even got to our best spot, and you've already caught two bigger than we even 
hooked yesterday. As the sun comes out, the Caps continue taking full advantage of the new day. And another husband-wife team is finding success on the other end of the lake. That's all when Crappie Time continues. Crappie Time is brought to you by B&M Poles. Wherever fishing takes you, B&M has been there. By Certified Arkansas Bait Fish. Log on to safebait.org. By Bass Pro Shops. Your adventure starts here. By Mossback Fish Attractor. No matter how you stack them, we attract them. And by the Russellville, Arkansas Tourism and Visitor Center, the home of Lake Dardanelle. Hi, I'm Ronnie Caps. I make my living crappie fishing. I want to tell you about a piece of artificial structure that you got to look at. If you're interested in crappie fishing, this is, has to be, I guess, the best in technology as far as permanent structure that'll be there for a lifetime. The material actually is really, really rigid. It's rough. As soon as that rack hits the water, it's immediate for algae to grow on it. Uh, unlike PVC, it being white, um, this is, happens to be gray and black in color. It attracts sunlight. It promotes algae growth eat immediately and quicker than any other material that I've ever seen. I won a championship Mississippi off of artificial structure exactly like this. The reason I won it really was pulling fish out that wasn't getting snagged unlike some of the brush tops that I was fishing in. The mossback fish rack is completely modifiable. You can take it down, put it together in a second. Uh, you can add to it. You can make it uh, much taller than the one that we have here in the background. Uh, it can be um, actually put anywhere you want to according to water depth. If you want to put one in 25 foot of water, then you can make it much taller, shorter, whatever. The best thing I know to catch fish and win tournaments around is a mossback fish rack. It's the Crappie Masters Tournament Trail in Lake Dardanelle, Arkansas. This fishery is loaded with quality crappie, and the best anglers in the country are feasting. Seven-time world champion Ronnie Caps and his wife Kelly are off to a solid start here on day two. And so also is the Reedy team, Barbara and Jim Reedy from Charleston, Missouri. This duo is fishing a flats area where mobility pays off. In this area that we've been fishing for yesterday and today, we have found that the fish are more scattered. So it's not gonna be just bam, bam, bam with big fish. It's gonna be one here and one there. Um, so we kind of move around looking for that extra fish. We're using uh, a double mental rig, Caps and Coleman double mental rig. And we've got everything tipped with uh, Lake Fork. Uh, a lot of Lake Fork, we have some lime truce with a uh, gold flake in it on it. It worked very well yesterday for us. But we tip everything with minnows. We're using larger minnows. We're using oh, minnows that are probably three or four inches. And uh, the main reason that there's so many fish here uh, and there's a lot of little fish and we're trying to eliminate the little fish by, by using the larger minnows. If you had smaller minnows, I mean, you could, you could catch all the fish you want and all the good eating fish uh, on this lake. There wouldn't be any reason not to have a limit every day just about, but uh, we're not looking for eating fish, we're looking for seven good fish to, to try to win this tournament here. I'm a firm believer, big people don't eat little sandwiches, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so big fish like big sandwiches. Words to live by. Let's check back in on the caps. Their strong morning is getting stronger. Oh, I got a bite. I got a good bite. Might get the net, K. Get the net, K. Get the net, K, 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 K. We rolling, baby. We rolling, we rolling. You are bad to the bone. He swallowed the live baby shad. Look what a beautiful fish, girl. We're going to have seven forts over. Quick, quick, quick. They're aggressive. Hey, he swallowed it so bad that uh, a tip. I got to I gotta give you a little tip. Look here, watch me. Look, he swallowed this. I'm talking about down, down, down. It's down in the mouth. I'm going to wrap this around my hand. Okay, wrap it, get the line nice and tight on your finger. Take your pointing finger, push it right down into the bend of the hook and push it into the crappie and it should come out with the hook right over top of your fingernail. And you don't have to reach for your pliers and do the whole thing. It's a real quick, easy way to get a hook out without having any pliers in your boat. So get this fish into oxygen quick, 
Gosh, what a fish, Kay. Get in there, baby. Wait, take your time. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho. He's hooked good. He's hooked good. He's hooked good. Oh He's hooked. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Go up under. You got him, baby. Yes, I got him. Hold okay. him. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Everything's good. This is another fish right here. Another fish. Another monster. Two. Can another I get fish. both of them in the net? Yeah, you can. Get both of them. Okay, you roll them, baby. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Wait. Ho, ho, ho. Don't pull it out. Don't so pull fast. it out. All those guys at uh, Arkansas Bait Fish, I think they understand now how much time we uh, spend, you know, grading out bait. That's why we sometimes have to buy four or five pounds of minnows to get, you know, one pound of minnows that are the ideal size for baiting our hooks up, you know. It saves so much time having those things graded and uh, ready to go when you buy them as opposed to buying all kinds of sizes. And uh, just saves a whole lot of time. You know, I think they understand that. Proppy Time is brought to you by TackleCenter.com. Buy the big green egg, buy Lake Fork Trophy Lures, lures with an attitude, and buy Canaan Polarized Sunglasses, Evolve Optically. Hi, I'm Eric Park and I'm president of the Arkansas Baitfish Association. I want to tell you a little bit about our product and that's certified Arkansas baitfish. If you look right here, we've got three different types of baitfish. They include shiners, black fathead minnows, and pink fathead minnows, sometimes referred to as toughies. But what's special about our Arkansas certified baitfish is that first and foremost, they're farm raised, which means they're safe for the environment. They're hardy. They're always one species. They're disease free. They don't take away the forage from the actual fish you're trying to catch. If you see here in the corners, we've got crappie. By buying Arkansas Farm Raised Certified Bait Fish, you're not taking away the forage from those animals that you're actually trying to catch. Also, by being certified, we're guaranteeing there's other things that aren't on there, like aquatic plants, zebra mussels, snails. There's a whole variety of things that you don't want to transfer around this country from bodies of water to bodies of water. Our certification is regulated by the Arkansas State Department of Ag and overseen by USDA veterinarians to make sure that we are healthy, hardy, and safe no matter what. Guaranteed the safe bait. So if you want to use them, we ask you to look for them and ask your bait shops to carry them. Where you can find out a little bit more about our product is at safebaitfish.org. Look it up and you can find out all the specifics about what makes our product guaranteed healthy, hardy, and safe no matter when, where, or how you use it. Then you can guide this whole thing. Get it, get it, get it. Gosh, what a crappie. Oh, God. You were burning them up, girl. We have got our seven fish to weigh in. Makes you feel good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, but only... you get the seven fish and you know, there's quality fish in the boat. I mean, you know, it's an hour and a half into this thing. It makes you feel so good. I mean, you got the rest of the day just relax and do what you're supposed to be doing and not panic. I mean, people panic, I panic. I've been doing this 25 years, still panic. I was panicking yesterday, you know. They just outsmarted us yesterday. Well, bit. this was your first choice, you know, before we got here. When you looked at that first, map, this I is where you, I want to go. You, told you, told you. Picked yeah. it out. We fished hard. <clears throat> you see how wide this area is? It's got lots of secondary creek channels, fingers, if you will. The main creek comes in and it just kind of spreads out into several different fingers. Huge, huge open expanse of shallow water. That's crappie country. Let's check in on the Reedies. The team is targeting scattered fish, but they found a hot spot where the crappie are congregated. After a few small bites, Jim lands a keeper with one pole. And then while Barbara is taking that keeper to the back of the boat, Jim lands another. There's another one. Fish number two on this spot has Barbara flashing the quick netting skills for two keepers nearly on top of each other. We're gonna have to float off this and regroup. <laughs> Live baby shad. Lime truce with gold speckles in it. Oops, I got another one. Got another one. Oh. Is he a bigger one? Might be. All right. Yeah, he's a better fish, looks like. No, not much better. Not better. See, that's the reason he, another reason he brings me, because I like to catch him. <laughs> 
Another, another good eating fish. I mean, there ain't nothing wrong with that fish. He's 10 inches probably. This is on a <coughs> live baby shad, which is the new one. And Ronnie just come out with kind of a twister tail on it. It's just, just being made. It's a prototype with a roadrunner head. Good fish. Don't lose this fish, Dave. Hey, hold, don't get excited, don't get excited. Don't get excited, get the net back, 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 back. Dip him up, baby. Dip him up. That is a shark. Good job, baby. Good, Good job. job. That is a shark. Whew. That is a whale, killy cat. Killy baby, cat. baby, baby. You on the, you on the we, 12 pound right now. We on it. We are on it. It's a female wow. with a little bulge to her belly. Believe that. Gosh, what a gorgeous fish. Don't drop her, okay? The caps are cruising and thinking big for the weigh-in, hoping to make a surge in the standings. We'll find out how high the caps rise in the rankings when crappie time returns. Hi, I'm Paul Obeer, the best rod holders are the ones that actually help you catch more fish and don't get in your way. The patented Be Ready rod holders does just that. Be Ready's allow you to fish in comfort while easily setting a hook. They are made from high quality materials such as stainless steel, heavy duty aluminum, ABS nylon, and they come with a lifetime guarantee. Be Ready's are the most user friendly with over a dozen mounting options. Just put one inch of the rod in the rod holder and you're ready. A fish will never pull the rod out while it's easy to lift the rod and set the hook. Get yours at BeReady.com. Yes, yes, oh my baby! Look, see if he's got a hole in his lip where I let him go. You got him. You got him in the net. He wasn't going nowhere. Okay, be still. Okay, you might need to get the net again. I got this quick, one. Quick, 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 quick. Good net. What do I do? I got this one okay, in I, it. I, I, I can handle it. I can handle it. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Here. I got it. I he, got it. He's I got hooked it. in the net. He is not going anywhere. Okay. This, look what a look what a black nose crappie we have caught. That's a tournament fish. I just lift it right in the boat. God, what a beautiful fish. I say. Yeah, it's it's a it's a huge advantage to have a look at this fish. Golly, did you see that? How sensitive. I meant. When you, um, watch that one there. You can see every little, every little movement from the bait down to the, uh, the lightest fish bite on these poles. We're fishing with BGJPs, buffs, graphite jig poles from B&M poles. Probably the best pole on the planet for, for doing what we're doing. Uh, we're using these 14 footers, and boy, they, uh, they're the ticket for doing what we're doing right here. The length of the pole really helps you judge how deep you're setting you're setting your bait. I mean, you know, you got a 14 foot rod and you can pretty well figure swing your bait in mid, mid, midway of the rod, you're fishing seven foot deep. And it's really, I guess that's probably one of the most important things is putting the bait back in the right depth of water that you're fishing in. You know, sometimes a lot of people misjudge that and fish too, too much line out and they'll be dragging the bottom or not enough line out and crappie don't want to come very far from the structure that uh, they're hanging tight to and get, get ready for something. I don't know what. Golly. Gosh, don't get look like the world. It's a whale. It's a medium pole gone wild, baby. You gotta have a reel with a good drag and a real good pole. He's coming to us. What in the world is this? I don't know here. Now go another way. Look at the bull. Look at the bull out there. He's 30 pounds. Wow. What a crush. Now it's off to the weigh-in. While Ronnie and Kelly get ready, Jim and Barbara Reedy are making their way to the stage. Here Jim and Barbara Reedy, let's hear it for them. Here we go. All right. What do they need? 
They need 1140. 1143. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. 11.22. 11.22. The Reedies moved up two slots in the standings to finish in seventh place. And now it's the Caps' turn. Let's welcome seven-time national champion, Ronnie Caps' wife, Kelly. Ronnie, Kelly Caps. Tight lock and late court pro tackle pro staff team. Also, coffee time TV show. Here they come. They're going to do a lot better today. Oh. Seven-time national champion. 1179. 1179. That's a two-day total of 20-34, and they take over first place. First place. The Caps did take over the lead and held it for a while. They ended up finishing in 11th place, an improvement of seven positions from day one. But no one could catch the father-son Westerbergs. The day one leaders held tough. 1146. There you go. Two-day total of 24-27. Jason and Jim Westerberg, your Arkansas state champions. The boys held up the hardware and their hometown of Conway, Arkansas celebrated. Afterwards, the Westerbergs credited their live bait. How important is live bait to help you catch fish? It's very important on the crappie because some days they, that's all they want. Some days they, they want the jigs, but most of the time it's live bait. We stick to live bait 90% of the time. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up the show here, but I'll tell you what, you guys had the number one weight for day two. Uh, the whole purpose of this program was to be able to demonstrate how world-class anglers can come to a first-time body of water and, and do well. You made some adjustments day two. What happened? Oh, well, uh, first of all, we uh, did pick out a place that I was uh, really, really um, leaning towards fishing before I ever left the house, and it happened to be one of the biggest, the largest major creeks on the lake that had the most, the widest expanse of shallow water with finger secondary creek in it. Uh, that's all in a nutshell. And uh, we went to that place second after we actually made a, made a mistake on the first day and, and really it turned out well for us today. Well, it'll be a nice drive back to Tennessee for you guys. Right? <laughs> all right, good deal. Well, thanks everybody for joining us. We'll see you next time on Crappie Time.